Welcome back everyone. Earlier in the series, we set up a simple project that has Redux as a dependency. In this video, let's continue with the same project and start implementing our cake shop application. Let's quickly revisit the diagram from earlier. Leaving aside the application which we already have, there are three parts to implement. Actions, reducers, and the store. In this video, let's focus on implementing actions for our application. Now, what do we know about actions so far? We know that actions are the only way your application can interact with the store. Actions carry some information from your app to the Redux store. We also learned that actions are plain JavaScript objects. They must, however, have a type property that describes something that happened in the application. The type property is typically defined as string constants. So let's go back to VS Code and create our action for the cake shop application. First, we define a string constant that indicates the type of the action. In our scenario, it is the order placed for a cake. So const cake underscore ordered is equal to the same string. Creating a constant will avoid spelling mistakes when reusing the action. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, but it is something that you will find in Redux code bases and I recommend you follow the same. Next, we define our action. Remember, an action is an object that has a type property. So an object and a property type whose value is the constant cake underscore ordered. And that is it. You have just created your very first action in Redux. Now we are not restricted to having just the type property. Other than type, the structure of an action object is completely up to you. So you can have another property that is an object or really simple property that is a string. I will add one property called quantity and set it to one. All right, we now have our action in place. But with Redux, we also go the extra mile to implement what is known as an action creator. And as the name indicates, an action creator simply creates an action. In terms of code, an action creator is a function that returns an action. So to implement the action creator, we create a function, order cake, which returns the action. So return the object. Now you might be wondering, why do we do this? Well, I will answer that question a few videos down the line once we understand the complete flow of a Redux app. For now, I want you to take away two things from this video. An action is an object with a type property. An action creator is a function that returns an object. If we now go back to the diagram, we have implemented the first part. In the next video, let's implement the second part, which is a reducer.